Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to the third day of my week featuring Penny Black. So I was debating on which one of those adorable images to use. This is a stamp set by Penny Black and uh, I was uh, trying to decide whether to use the mouse on the bike or the little uh, cat with the balloons. But I finally decided to go with the cat. So I'm going to stamp that with my Misty. I am planning to use my Spectrum Noir markers, these are alcohol markers, so I am going to use my Toxido Black Ink by Memento, just to make sure that this is not going to smudge or smear. I am going to use uh, oranges to color my cat, just because I have a ginger cat, I get inspired by that and I just can't color a cat in any other way. Now just because the birthday card that I created for this week on Monday was very girly with all those pinks and uh, the little fairy, I decided to create a card that has more uh, unisex colors that you can um, that is appropriate to give uh, to both a boy or a girl. Plus I have so many people who have a birthday on May that uh, I think I'm gonna need lots of them. So there you go, I am creating a birthday card. I have finished coloring my ginger cat and now I am uh, coloring my balloons. I am not spending too much time on coloring. I am only using two shades of the same color for the balloons instead of three as you would normally do with alcohol markers. I am planning to add some glossy accents on top of my balloons which is going to give that extra something and it's going to provide highlights so you don't really need to do a lot of uh, work on coloring them. I have chosen three colors for my balloons, yellow, red and teal and I will continue coloring all of them without introducing any other color. Now my image is ready and I am going to use this uh, penny black dye that cuts out a um, shape that looks as if it's a um, torn uh, page from a notebook. I am going to run it through my C6 Big Shot and um, I just used a white cardstock for that. And this is going to be my main panel, so I'm going to create a sky here where I'm going to build up my little scene. Now I'm using tumbled glass and I'm applying it with my blending tool. I'm mainly adding uh, more color at the very bottom of my page and um, as I go to the top I grade from uh, blue to white. And if you follow my videos for a while, you probably know by now that I love creating uh, skies as well as popping up my images. I cannot keep anything flat. So just because I wanted to pop up this uh, image, it was so difficult for me to cut out all the strings for the balloons as well as the whiskers of the cat. So I decided to stamp only the strings as well as the whiskers with my black marker so that when I stick my cat on top, I will have all those details directly on my panel. So I'm using my black uh, memento marker and I'm only going to apply some ink on the whiskers and the strings. Of course you can go ahead and add um, ink all over the image and stamp it as it is, but then I would have to color it, because if you stick something on top with foam squares, when you flip the card you will be able to see underneath, and if uh, that image has only black lines it wouldn't look so nice. You know, sometimes uh, the perfectionist in me makes things uh, really difficult. So anyway, I am stamping my details there. And I'm happy with how all that detail looks, so I will uh, go ahead and start cutting out my images. I'm going to cut out the balloons and the cut separately. I'm just going to follow the lines. And now as you can see there are some white uh, spaces in between those balloons and I just have to get rid of them otherwise they will drive me crazy. So I am using my uh, craft uh, knife there and I'm going to cut those out. I also used my black uh, memento marker to go all around the edges to get rid of that white edge. This uh, gives my images a finished look and uh, they look as if I have cut them out perfectly. Now all the bits and pieces are ready, so it's time to assemble my panel. I'm adding a foam square at the back of my card. I'm going to align it with the whiskers and the strings. And I'm also going to stick the balloons by adding some foam squares at the back as well. So now my cut and the balloons are popped out, but at the same time I do have all those uh, black details that I need to complete my image. 
And uh, when I am creating sky scenes, I always like to stick down some clouds. I really think that uh, they add to the finished look and uh, it really makes that uh, cat as if she is flying far up in the sky. Now at this point I want to remind you that Penny Black has a giveaway for you, so make sure to visit my blog to find out all about it. I am using my scissors to cut out all the excess from those clouds, making sure that I didn't cut anything from the cut or the balloons. Now I am creating my sentiment, for that I will go with uh, the word celebrate, this is an old penny black stamp but I really love it, it has uh, beautiful sentiments for birthdays and um, I am going to link you down below in case you want to get it. Now I am going to stamp my sentiment with uh, Versamark ink on black cardstock and I am going to white emboss it. So I am using then my white embossing powder. I did make sure to use my EK Success powder tool beforehand on my black cardstock because otherwise I will not end up with a neat and clean uh, finish on my sentiment. And I really love the look of uh, white embossed on top of black uh, cardstock just because it's so bold. I really love the look. For my card base, I have created a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And um, just to make it more interesting, I am going to emboss it with an embossing folder that is full of uh, dots, polka dots. Now this happens to be a really, really old um, embossing folder. I believe I have it um, for eight years or so. Anyway, I don't know if uh, this one by Cuttleback is still available, but I will link you down below to some more new ones available in the market at the moment. So now I have a beautiful but very subtle background, which is perfect for the look that I am going for, for a card that I can give to a boy or a girl. Now I'm going to use my corner chomper and I'm going to create a tab out of my sentiment. I'm using the quarter of an inch side, which is going to give me the smallest of uh, the rounded corners. So now I'm going to apply some tape adhesive at the back of my panel and I'm going to secure that tab just at the back there. So my focal point is now ready, I am going to secure that on top of my card base by adding some uh, foam tape at the back. And instead of uh, sticking this panel straight on top of my card base, I am going to stick that at an angle which is going to give more interest on my design. And now I'm ready for the finishing touches. I'm going to add some shine by using my Aqua Flow pen. And this is the clear one that adds only glitter. I'm going over the clouds as well as the balloons. And I hope you can see how sparkly that is. Now to finish it off, I am going to add some uh, glossy accents on top of my balloons, which is going to lock down that uh, shimmer that I have added with my Aqua Flow pen. So when everything dries, the balloons are going to be not only shiny, but um, sparkling as well. Now, as always, you can find the full list of all the supplies that I use today down below in the description area of YouTube as well as on my blog. You will find links to multiple online shops. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. Don't forget to visit my blog to find out all about the giveaway by Penny Black. And uh, if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos that I have created a while back while I was featuring again Penny Black Stamps. Thank you all for watching!